Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the band, John Baptiste and Stay Hill, and say hello to us folks over there. Folks, my first guest tonight stars as Saul Goodman on Better Call Saul, and he now stars in the movie Girlfriend's Day. I'm thinking a whole line of I regrets. A whole new line. Could there be a song chip in there? No. Are you playing a sad song? No something? song chips, no glitter, just the truth, right? Because that's what cards have been missing. Besides, I've heard complaints about the glitter. You know, I campaigned for a stronger glue about two years ago. Ray, why don't you have a seat? Let's go retro. Could be hip. I'm thinking dime trees. Girl opens the card, there's 10 dimes for her. In a romance card. Could be great for someone you love who you owe money to. OK, fine. Class it up. Quarters. That's your idea. Please welcome Bob Odenkirk. Guys, that's right. Give your lady quarters, not dimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you. If man. People don't know this. Uh, we worked together twice before. Yes. Uh, the first time was when you were uh, on stage at Second City, and I was a waiter at Second City. All right. And what did I do? What did you do? Mention that we should tip our waiters or something? I don't think you ever said that. I didn't acknowledge no. your existence. Uh, no, you did, you did not acknowledge my existence at all. But I didn't even. Who was I on stage with? You, Pasquese. Farley, Pasquese, uh, Joel Murray. Joel Talley, great the, people. Great people, wonderful people. And then you went off to greener pastures. Wait, we worked again together on the Dana Carvey show. The late lamented Dana Carvey yeah. show, exactly. Uh, yes. It's it one of the most storied. For stuff. the people who don't know, everybody worked on that. It was you, uh, 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 Dave Cross. Louis C.K. Louis C.K., Robert Smigel, Dana Carvey. Um, Charlie Kaufman. Charlie Kaufman. Great, great yeah, film yeah. writer. Robert Carlock, who was a teen, you know, like oh a Tina Fey's executive yeah, producer, yeah. Or like well, that. I didn't and know me that. and Corell. And you and Corell. Yeah, it was it a was lot of fun. It was an amazing group of people who couldn't get it together. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, kept on writing things well, that made I us mean, laugh. The reason and not America. is because this wonderful show with this great guy, Dana Carvey, who's so wonderful. Yeah, I love it him. It came yeah. on after Home Improvement, and we wrote all these weird bits. Yeah, like the, the very first, went, the very first sketch was Bill Clinton breastfeeding puppies. I know. <laughs> and I was in the room when everyone was chortling mightily about that, and I was thinking, oh no, that's we not are so make canceled. Them happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, what? I, I heard some exciting news about you. What'd you hear? This, you threw out uh, the first pitch oh, my God. at uh, Wrigley Field. And Tops, can we get a shot of this? Tops made a baseball card of you, <laughs> Bob Odenkirk, throwing the ball out. I really feel. Did you not know this happened? I had no idea, and it's making me cry. It's How'd nice. you throw it? Did you throw it well? Because I did. There, I... 60 feet 6 inches looks way it's longer. It's so far away. I threw uh, a moon ball. Does anyone know what a moon ball is? It's a ball that goes like that, way up yeah. high, and hopefully I maybe it's a, a pitch you throw without your pants on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. it was unintentional, but it was a moon ball, and it went over the plate, and yeah. the catcher caught it. I don't think it even bounced once. Were there the people dirt. in the stands? Like, was it a sold-out game? Are you kidding me? There were many, many thousands of people in the stands. Uh -huh. Did you run into my friend Donnie Franks? Because uh, oh. Donnie Franks is a hot dog vendor there. He also he has also a car. Yeah. What an honor. Yeah. What an honor. Yeah. yeah. He really throws the old chin music. He really throws the chin. <laughs> you sell enough hot dogs, you can throw the first pitch. Yeah, that's, that's what they say. That's what they say. So, um, Valentine's Day was yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Did you, you and your wife of 20 years, right? Yeah. Been a long time. Me and I have been married 20 years. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Yeah. You guys do anything? You guys do anything particularly? I just do what I normally do on Valentine's Day. I get her a card tomorrow. <laughs> Three days later. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we, uh, I was flying here. I left town. That's what I did for her. As a, ch as, 
Does she like leave oh my before God, dawn? That is really romantic. <laughs> leave town on the morning of Valentine's Day. You know what I say? Leave them wanting more. <laughs> Keep them hungry. You got to keep the ladies hungry, Bob. I, I, I promise we're going to have a Valentine's Day date. I promise after the kids are in college, we're going to. How close are we? How close how are the kids? We're one year away from the first kid going. So wait a second. You're going to get romantic in after. Two the, years. When the first we're doing child goes to college. Valentine's but Day the dates in a row. But the second kid's still going to be there. He's going to have to watch. No, no, we're not going to have a damn thing until all both kids are in college and getting good grades. There's no roses. Actually, look. Steven. So the kids are going to have to have good grades for you to get romantic? Yeah, they've got it. You're going to have to wait till after the midterm exams to go, all right, oh, he got a B plus. Let's lose those pants. <laughs> what is, okay. I'm pretty proud. My kids have never once caught my wife and I making love, and they sleep in the same bed with us. That's called a joke. It's a um, fine joke. It's a okay, fine joke. It's a fine look, family joke the right there. The truth is, I give my wife 12 roses every morning. <laughs> and just so she doesn't get a big head, I tell her it's one rose <clears throat> for each of your faults. But you are, so you are a romantic guy, then. You're kind of a romantic I'm guy. I'm terrible. Really? I'm not at all. No? No. I consider cards and flowers, and that's just emotional porn. That's what I call it. You call now, actual, flowers? Now, actual porn, I call a how-to films. <laughs> I say, let's go watch some how-to films. Now, you play somebody who is, has a little trouble with romance. You wrote. Yeah. Did you direct this also? Girlfriends, they know. Michael Paul Stevenson, a wonderful but, director. But you wrote this, Girlfriends. I did write it with my friends, uh, Eric Hoffman and Phil Zlatarinsky. And, and it's a great, important film <laughs> about a greeting card writer. It's about time. <laughs> the, the truth must be told. What is it about? Like, what's it about? Like, it's are there not themes about or anything. Like anything. That? Well, what's, I mean, what's the plot? You, I'll tell you if it's about I, something. It's not going to win a Peabody or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a silly movie. What happens? What happens in the movie? <laughs> Steven, there's no message. It's me. I'm a greeting card writer. I've lost touch with my emotions. You're working for a big company or something about that? I'm working for a big company. It's like about corporate greed and like uh, loss of individual identity or anything like no, that? No, not really, no. No? <laughs> um, I fall in love with a hipster chick. And it's uh, about like Generation Y and like everything is ironic and you don't have true feelings anymore. No, or... no, no. Uh, about that. Uh, uh -huh. It's not really just. What's the last? Like, what's the last oh, line? The last the line of the film. Sometimes there's a message there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm on a motorcycle. I've got a dog in a sidecar, <laughs> one-eyed dog, and I turn to the camera and I say, "Let's start killing those whales and frack this earth." <laughs> you think that's a message? So it's, it's like about like man's inhumanity to man. It's anti-humanity is what it is. <laughs> That's what you think, Odenkirk. Let's you think anti-humanity. There it is. Get me that Peabody, please. I'm well, ready. Well, I'd love to hear more about, right. about hating your fellow man. <laughs> we got to take a little break. Can you right. stick around? And we'll, yes, we'll, I will. We'll, we'll hate ourselves some more Let's after that. Do it. Great. All stick right. around. We got more Bob Odenkirk. <laughs>